What's happening, yo? Chilling, chilling. What's good? What's good? What's going on, people? Um, yeah. Sorry, my producer told me to back up. You loud as fuck, nigga. I think I already left. Yeah, you loud as fuck, nigga. Yeah. Anyway. And, um. It is your favorite podcast, minus a couple. Yeah. Literally. And we're not using the word yo for the rest of the podcast because I feel like we use it enough in the very first 10 seconds. So, yes. Yo, yo, yo. No. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. It's, your fa- it's your Bob's favorite podcast. It's the Physics Study Group, hashtag TPSG. Wait, did you just try the Birdman hand rub and it failed? No, no, no. I did the clap. <laughs> no, the, the, the white man, everything's okay, clap. The yes, let's everything's commence. gonna be fine. We're gonna yes, get, gonna get you the plea deal. Uh, everything's fine. Yeah. Anyway, oh. if, if, yeah. If a white man does that clap in front of you, you're going you're, to jail. You're, you're, <laughs> you're in a, a prison. Sorry, <laughs> you're anyway. in a bad situation. But yeah. <laughs> anyway, but yes, it is your boy, Mr. Dramatic, aka Wave Chappelle, aka Wavy McGrady, aka Black Galifianakis, aka. Wavy big beard, aka enough with the AKAs. Word. This is Flaka Zulu, aka Sir Black Stalin the Third, aka Pablo Escovich, aka No More AKA Stop the Violence. Stop the Violence. Uh. With the circle and the cross to it. Boom. Word. And as you can see, we are <laughs> unfortunately missing um, one of our regular members, Mr. Word. I Seem Black. Word. Uh, interesting story about that. Uh. Apparently, there's a Third installment to Magic Mike, you know the male stripper movie. Where and my man went to go audition. Mm. He said he has his stuff for it. Ah, you know. So good luck, Mister I C Black. Hope you're in Magic Mike Three. Where more dicks, less chicks. That's what I, mean. <laughs> That's what I heard. But um, where I, I heard, I heard he's playing a ball of hay in the background. <laughs> a human <laughs> ball of hay. Where <laughs> and of course, shout out to our homeboy. Mr. Bumaye still on his secret mission. We can't speak much about it, but where he likes Sasuke. Shout out, shout out to people who get that reference. I did. Oh, uh, that's that an anime good. reference. It is. Keep okay. going. Okay. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. <laughs> and, you know, before we start, like the other day, like I, I, like lately, I've been listening to a, like a lot of '90s hip hop. This is like a this is a random statement, but I can make an argument mm. for Nan nigga, but Trick Daddy and Trina, yeah, being the official song of South Florida. Huh. Like, you know how they have official birds and mm-hmm. plants? Yeah, <laughs> nigga. This is the official I'm put, song. I'm putting my vote for that, for the official song of South Florida. Specifically South Florida. There, there's a lot that could that could fit that mold. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You got uh, uh, Uncle, Uncle Luke, Luke has, has like, like 10 of them. Well, exactly, yeah. <laughs> for real. But I don't know. I, I just feel like that nigga is the one that, like, stretched a little further, you know? <laughs> nah, 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 oh, my God. Nah, you hear that nah, song nah. in... The only thing more Miami is a pig leg and a hot sausage. <laughs> Grind it up inside the jungle punch. That's the only thing more Miami than that nigga. <laughs> and then you got to sprinkle the hot Cheetos on top. Real niggas know what's up. Real niggas know what's up. But anyway. <laughs> um, oh, speaking of, speaking of Florida. <laughs> shout out to um, shout out to one of our former guests. <laughs> Shout out to our former guest, Mr. Sylvan LeCue. That sounds like it'll get you high forever. But yeah, but yeah, shout out Sylvan. Sylvan LeCue. By the time you hear this, his tape would have already dropped on July 13th. It's called Florida Man. It's like an eight-track EP, right? Mm-hmm. And um, the cover, the cover, you know, Florida Man, Florida Man. Um, the cover is made by, by my dog, Uncle Luke. Shout out, Uncle Luke. But y'all go check it out, man. Word. Yeah, support Miami music. Word, word. Yeah. We'll see if we could, you know. Have, yeah, him what, on, what? have him on in the future. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know? Either have him on to get a review. Yeah. Or we're, both. We're, hey. Yeah, you, know. you never know. Yeah, yeah, well, never yeah, know. Shout out Sylvan and you know, all the other Florida rappers in there. Where, where? Shout out home team. Home team. Yes. Now, speaking of rappers, mm-hmm. did you know that everyone's favorite hip hop couple just had a child? Yes. And it, these. <laughs> <laughs> Sh- yeah, so, yeah, so, uh, so Offset and, and Cardi B, who's. Like they, I've never seen like their their rap names are actually more like tame tame than their real name. <laughs> their their baby they have a baby called um his his name is Culture. Yes, but with, with a, a K. K. Yes, cause cause you know her mama blood. <laughs> <laughs> and but, um, the, the baby, wait 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 hold on it's a it's a it's a it's a girl. Well, the baby's first name is Offsets. Sorry, the baby's first name is. Sorry, the baby's middle name is Offset's first name. So, is it a boy? Oh no, I just was... no, no, I don't know. <clears throat> oh no, because you like, said I don't it. care enough to go search. Like, no, oh, you yeah, had a baby. Good. I <laughs> thought you said her. That's why I asked. 
Oh, my bad. I don't, I don't know. The baby. The baby, <laughs> the baby in question is named Cultural Decay Kiari Cephas. Yes. Don't, don't adjust your headphones. <laughs> Culture Kiari Cephas. Yes. Now, you're probably wondering. He's going to be the, the kid what? That, that kid in prep school. That <laughs> Yeah, any, any time the teacher looks at the role, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> like what, 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 what is this? Word. Oh, it's a girl. My, compru- my co- producer does confirm that. It's a girl, so congratulations to... Yeah, the word. Um, that's what's up. Cardi B, a.k.a. And I'm going to pronounce this the best I can. Word. Cardi B's real name is Belkalese Marlinese Almanza. Yes. No, I did not just cast a spell on you. <laughs> and Offset's real name is Kiari Kendrell <laughs> Cephas. God bless that family. That's a lot of names, bro. That's Word. nine names between three people already. Word. See, that's an old school last name. That's an old last name. <laughs> Cephas. Yeah. Well, Cephas. you better order out of Cephas, y'all, to get a fried fish. No, that, that was hella racist. Anyway, <laughs> but Word. Cephas, Cephas is sound like a slave ass name. Word. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's talk about black people name, like naming their, their children for a second. Oh, Lord. Because sometimes, sometimes, you know, a lot of times black people get a bad rap. People mm-hmm. assume a name is Ratchet when they just don't know the background. Like, a lot of exactly. these names be, like, you know, come from, like, African mm-hmm. backgrounds, whatever, whatever. And some of these names actually be Ratchet. Yes. Yeah. Like, uh, I saw this one girl. Her name was Erica. <laughs> now, obviously, it's supposed to be Erica, but her parents decided to name it, sorry, to spell it A-I-R, like Air. Uh-huh. W-R-E-C-K-A. Rekka. Wow. Is she an airbender? Rekka. I don't know what she is. <laughs> I would all mess with her. <laughs> and a, another like popular a, name that was always said to be Ratchet was Lucretia. There's a, you there's know, a weed nug on the table. Yeah. <laughs> Lucretia. You know, Lucretia is the middle name of one of the former first ladies. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Wait. Like, a lot of these names are not as Ratchet as you think. Lucretia. It wait, wait, hold up, hold up. spelled different. Wait, hold up. Is it not... Not Ratchet because it was a middle name of a, a, a W. Well, no, 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 no. We no, gotta no. check ourselves before we wreck now, ourselves. Nah. Anytime I say Ratchet, I mean ghetto yeah. shit, and that don't necessarily mean white blacks. Whatever. Yeah. It means ghetto in general because what's some when white? you grew up there, you've seen white, black, Spanish, oh. Asian ghetto people. So what's, what's ghetto some, doesn't have a color to me. Ghetto what's some is a what's stink. some what, what's some white people Ratchet shit? Oh, redneck shit. Yeah, uh, that's their. No, yeah, that, that's, that's their yeah, but equivalent. Like, but, but like, what, 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 some like, what, what's their, what does their ratchet look like? Uh, you know, having babies by cousins and fathers, and <laughs> you know, like if you if you want to say the typical <laughs> stuff, you know, the stereotype stuff is, you know, incest is not frowned upon. <laughs> we, uh, <laughs> that's the stereotype stuff. But, oh my god, know, I don't know much of white white people. I'm not one of them, so. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> oh gosh, the, the you don't you don't do a lot of W watching. I mean, that's about it. The 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 bar the the barbecue at any any part of your house, any, they'll put a grill <laughs> in the bedroom. In the fucking bedroom. Right. That's why Michael Scott burned his foot on the George Foreman grill. <laughs> that's what you get doing that cracker shit. <laughs> anyway, but um, nah, white white ratchet shit is I guess what you would call redneck. Shit. <laughs> You know you could grill rat from the tub. Oh my god, and they make <laughs> and they make moonshine from like, from like nothing. Like they Word. don't even need supplies. Word. <laughs> All they need some rocks, mountain water, a couple twigs. Best moonshine you ever taste. I swear to God. <laughs> These rocks been fermented for generations. <laughs> They're finally ready to drink. Oh, the racism is flowing Word. through me. Where what you drinking? Limestone. All right, I'm done. Oh God. Now. Um, Speaking of W's and they wild shit, <laughs> even though they're not, like, would you consider the Kardashians them W's? Um, yeah, I mean, a fair skin detrimental to black people, yeah. Wow, yes. <laughs> you are a fucking W. <laughs> <laughs> That's like an epitome of W. Um, your girl, Kylie Jenner, a.k.a. Miss Lip Implants, mm-hmm. and she just took them out recently, too. Word. Don't ask me how I know this. Uh, they've gotten me, though. <laughs> I swear, you follow certain people on certain social media networks, and you just find out everything the, you never bro, wanted to know bro, ever. Bro, ain't, ain't, <laughs> ain't that the truth? They ever, you ever find out or know information you're disgusted? Like, why yeah, do I like, know why this? why do I know this? It's like, I don't want to know. Like, I don't want to be able to, to give my input if some, if I heard, overheard somebody. Oh, you know, 
Yeah, Kylie like, Jenner no, took no, her no. implants. Out. Like, why? Like, I squint on like what? she had implants. I Word. just act like you know it, it, in this day and age. But Word. anyway, not trying to be pu- pushing the pushing the the um the foolery, <laughs> the narrative, the Word. narrative of the fuckery. Word. Now, Kylie, she um, I I guess she she had like a a a, a makeup line or something. She was doing some business ventures. Where she was, you know, making all sorts of money, whatever. Mm. And she got on the cover of Forbes. And the title is America's Women Billionaires. And that is a phone ring. Apologies. All right, we're going to run that back. No, we keep it real. Run that back, Cephas. Bring we, it back, Cephas. Right. We, we keep it um, real here. She was on the cover. She, she, was, she was graced the cover of Forbes. And the title was America's Women Billionaires. And activists say Kylie Jenner's business empire profited off of black culture. Yeah. <laughs> now. Yeah. It's not false. <laughs> it's true. Mm-hmm. Now, and, and and another thing I have an issue with, like, oh, she was self-made and blah, blah, like, not really self-made. I got to understand what you're saying. Like, you know, she took her vast wealth she already had and mm. made something out of it on yeah. her own that, she, that say that I'm, she made it. Yeah. Like, I yeah, mean, yeah, but it's not, not to, not it's to, not a rags the riches type thing. It's like, exactly. The riches, the riches. Word. And not it's to, like straight across. Word. <laughs> you know? And not to take anything away yeah, from anybody, take, you know, because I'm I'm sure she worked hard yeah. for hers. You know what I'm saying? She, she, she worked hard scouting people's Instagrams and stealing shit. Where where she took her situation and capitalized on it. You can't be mad at yeah. that. You business know? is business. It ain't yeah. pretty. But. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but however, however, just, to say she's self, what does self made even mean? I mean, self made would. And why is that a thing? Why is that like? Because it's like a. I'm about to make it um, deeper than it's. A, it needs to be, but like, why? You gotta put on my snorkeling. Wait, wait. <laughs> We're about to dive in, but um, why is that such a big thing, man? Why, why? What being self-made? Yeah, like why well, people? Why is that such a thing to tap, pat, pat your head on the back or to say? Because I mean, I feel like for anybody, I don't care who you are, for anybody to say that, uh-huh. you dissing somebody that helped you along the <laughs> way. Well, that's that's true, but. As far as that shit goes, I guess they do it on, on, you know, behind closed doors. So they don't have to discuss, oh, I got this loan from this person. This person did this for me. You know what I'm saying? They don't have to discuss that. But if you're going to say you're self-made, then, you know, it's kind of, you know, you're being, you t- kind of like beating around the truth, kind of. Yeah, because you know everybody. It's like you tell the truth, but you're not telling the truth. Well, because everybody, everybody gets to where they are based on their effort mm-hmm. to a great degree. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Both negative and positive. Right. So it's like, yes, in that in that sense, but that's everybody. Yeah. So to say that you're self-made would just say, like, all right, I did it by myself. And you can't do nothing by yourself. Not a damn thing. Word. I, I, like, I can't even think of a millionaire yeah, like, and off the back of my, like, off the top of my mind that, like, did it, f- like, from the ground up, like, completely. Every, right. Even, like, Bill Gates, Buffett, not, oh, they all had help. Mm. Now... You can get help and fuck up. Uh huh. And I commend them because not only did they not fuck up, but mm. they made it even better. They doubled it or tripled it or quadrupled it or whatever. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's what Kylie did. She already she said, you know, I am rich. I'm just sitting on this money. I'm not doing anything. Let me make it multiply. Mm. You can't be mad at her for that. Right, but you know it's what I'm like, saying? However, I'm just more mad at like why she's like a, a staple or why she's a face. Oh, it, it's okay. <laughs> I, I said this like on a million podcasts. And I'm looking to the camera and I say, Right. The youth run the world whether you know it or not. Right. Those are the only... Th- these young kids, like mm-hmm. 15 to 18 maybe, they're, every star that's out there from sports to music to whatever mm-hmm. is because of these children. Mm-hmm. It's because of the kids because they have the most... It, it, but it's they, like, they why, have the most access to technology and but all why that they stuff. Gra- and, why are they gravitating to certain things? I don't though? know. She just took advantage. Remember, that, like, there's, like, but there's like, levels to the Kardashianism. Word, she's cause, she's cause tackling you, the youth. Everybody, they have everybody else. Um, Kev and Chloe, they have everybody but, else. Kylie has a youth. Because I feel like they're doing every, like, they're getting props. It's like, all right. It's like, it's <laughs> I like. I feel you. I know exactly what you're saying. Word, you're to say it. word. It's like, <laughs> they're, and. I don't I don't know what kind of it's jungle yeah, bring it out of here. I don't even know what kind of jungle punch pussy they have to get these like <laughs> these like No, they um I think these, I think Joe Budden said it on his podcast. On his podcast like 
mystical box. Yeah, bro. Like, like what is Erica it? Erica Badu. And they keep and, putting, like, they keep falling for it. Like, even it's it's like they're it's it, it's like they're morphing. They can morph in and out of like black culture, Negative. like. It's like <laughs> no, it, it's like they're they're black people famous and white people famous at, at the, the same, same t- for for different reasons. Well, no, 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 no. For the, for the for the reasons that profit them the most. Mm. They're black people famous for only um only because of the most profitable thing off the you know off the black woman like their shape, their look, mm. how they dress. Mm. Um, their fashion, their jewelry, everything. Bro, it's, it's that like, is, to, to white people, that is the most profitable thing they could take from. But and people. it's like, and they, well, black women specifically, when you talk about Kylie. And it's like, and it's like they're like the, the shapeshifters. It's like what they they want to be like. They just be. Where it's like, oh, <laughs> oh, they got ass. Like black women ain't had it. Had ass. Dog oh. from the eighties. From the from the. I don't, from jump, from jump, yeah. What are we what talking I about? Learned. From jump, like from that is jump. that from is before. a natural that is a natural black woman trait. What? The curviness, the shapeliness, and all that. From been time, been, been time, <laughs> been. black women been had ass, been you know? had it, but been and, and they 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 got big lips like black women ain't had big lips. Oh, they got braids like black women ain't had like shit. They used to make fun of black women for oh yo big old lips. Your soup coolers. Right. Now you going to your doctor saying, "Oh, I want to look like her." You was just making fun of her. I don't fucking care. This is what's hot now. Word. This is it's unfortunate. It's sickening for this one. Bitch and once assery. again, I think I said it last podcast. My memory's terrible. For, terrible. Forgive me. You're just abusing the table. Bro. Sorry. This is all OJ Simpson's fault. <laughs> it is all because of OJ. Just because your uh, wife what? wanted to so wait, do run what it, you look like. run, run it down. Why Orthol James is to blame? <clears throat> It all started in a cold <laughs> evening in Buffalo, New York. <laughs> Young Orenthal Jesus. <laughs> I'm sorry. But it's it's because of him. It's because of him. Mm. He if if this case never if, if his case never happened, you mm-hmm. would have never heard about the Kardashians. Mm-hmm. And that's it. Oh yeah. Like that's it. There's <laughs> nothing else to explain. Word. Word. You can say gen- no no no. There's a there's a there's a there's an alternate universe. Mm. Where OJ is spending life in prison, Bernie yes. Sanders is president. <laughs> There's universal health care. You- <laughs> education uh, is free for all. And LeBron stayed in one city. <laughs> <laughs> in the perfect world. In the well, perfect world. But this is all OJ's fault, man. Because of that big case, Rob Kardashian. Or wait, the, the father is Rob, right? Anyway, mm-hmm. probably. probably you, you think? You think? You think W has just been slowly. Like trying to get revenge ever since it's like the biggest. Wait, wait! You think that's a mystery? <laughs> that is a true thing. Sorry, that is a true thing. Ever since OJ got away scot free, and he's free now. <laughs> W's been trying to get us back since. Uh, I, what, what comedian was talking about it? Um, I forgot. I, I forgot who it was. But ever since OJ shit, just wild shit been happening. Right. And it is them trying to get revenge. Like, no, OJ free, baby. Mm-hmm. You can't do that. He's free now. He was free then. And he's going to continue to be free <laughs> in the U.S. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, ever since then, the W's have been trying to been trying to get us back. And I really feel like the Kardashians are that's are why get back. That, and that's why white women are so dead. Bro, it all comes full circle. Full fucking circle. Bro. No, the Kardashians. Mind fuck as fuck. The Kardashians are a punishment for o, um, OJ's innocent verdict. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. Put that in your history books 30 years from now. Word. Because Kylie Jenner or Kardashian might be the fucking president. How the world is going. <laughs> I mean, we already have a TV star as president. Another one. Oh, you know what? Oh, the God. next five presidents TV stars. It oh, don't God. fucking matter. My God. It doesn't matter because nothing matters and we're living in the fucking movie. What's that movie where Terry Crews was president? Uh, idiocracy. Oh yeah, when this it, is a real life version of idiocracy. Where they're gonna start feeding crops Gatorade and shit, and it's gonna work somehow. Like <laughs> I feel like I feel like it's gonna society- work at first. Yeah, and it, and and then like all the dumb people are gonna be like, see, the smart people are gonna be like, well, I don't know how this is happening, how long is but last? it shouldn't. Da, 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 da. <laughs> but then dumb people are gonna look smart in a moment, and then that's. That's remember, oh, remember SpongeBob like two hours later. You were. It's gonna say six hours later, and it's gonna be Mad Max. Because you watered the crops with Gatorade. <laughs> anyway, 
<laughs> How fucked are we? Good. Are we heading towards like a, I mean, a if, Mad Max? Like, I mean, like, like the thing is, I, I just don't think people care as much as they used to back then. Back like, wait, wait, care about what back when? Like, like they don't care about who's who's famous and who's influencing people and stuff. Like oh, I've, like, people are just desensitized to what's happening. Like, it, no, no, wh- like well, it's so much fucked up shit going on. People are desensitized and tour. They're like they're throwing up their hands. And like, well, shit's fucked up. Exactly, and we're gonna get to the point where like, oh yeah, of course that happened. Did you see what happened before? Where? You know, what I'm saying? oh yeah, don't, like. Literally, probably in 10 years. Oh, Lil Wayne's president? Donald Trump was president. What's the fucking difference? Right. You know what I'm saying? They're both celebrities. Like, But I, I just feel like now it's just literally, and this is within any industry, music, TV, movies, art, fashion, whatever. It's whatever makes the most money, whatever brings the most attention. Because that's all social media. No, it's just fucking... Fun. Because you're beating up the damn table, sorry. bro. I'm sorry. I'm just so passionate about this. <laughs> this man has been... <laughs> this certain subject at this certain time. <laughs> you've, been, but, um, you've been talking like one of them inflatable Oh, the shit. inflatable flaming arm too, man? Word. <laughs> but... No, so we're going to miss. Trust me. They can't if, all win. Trust me. If putting Kylie Jenner on the front of Forbes is going to bring Forbes more issues or clicks or whatever, they're going to do it. That's all that matters. Mm. It doesn't matter like... It, it doesn't matter who... Once again, no no disrespect to um, Bruce Jenner or Caitlyn Jenner, whatever you want to call him. He won Woman of the Year. They don't give a shit about anything anymore. <laughs> that nigga won Woman of the Year. Word. And, so and, you're telling and he me... Beat, he beat some women that did some powerful... That did some powerful shit. And all he did was decide he was a woman. And he, he even cut his nuts off. He's, he's still intact. You didn't cut it's, your nuts off? No, 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 wait. Don't quote me on that. For last time I heard he um he didn't, but he could have. Nigga, knows? the least you do. I'm not you full d- of facts. N- you know nigga, <laughs> nigga, you go if you gonna win Woman of the Year. It, it, wow, I'm I'm so mad. If you gonna win Woman of the Year, the least you could do is go all the fucking way, dog. Ain't Bruh, no way. Does, ain't no way you talking about you Woman of the Year. You got you still got nuts swinging, bit nah, nigga. How in all righteousness? Off, bro. How in all righteousness you accepted that award where a pair of nuts swinging through you? Word, hell through nah. your legs. Like I don't hell understand. Nah. Anyway. You didn't that, even go through it all the way, cause niggas are, at least niggas was like, "Oh, you brave, nigga! You chopped off your nuts. You ain't chop your nuts off, bro." <laughs> yeah, that is that is the 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 exact moment you're like, "Fucked everything <laughs> in my past. I'm a completely different person." Word. Anyway, that just goes to my point that like they don't care anymore. You know, all the way I don't respect it. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Hold on. But yeah, like they don't they don't care anymore. It's whatever makes the most money, whatever. Brings the most clicks or looks or views or whatever. That's all that matters. Mm. Right. That's all that matters. Though. It's unfortunate, but like social media runs the world, man. I feel like the youth in social media. And first of all, they're one in the same anyway. <laughs> I feel, run the world right now. I'm telling you. I feel. I feel like every time we have one of these like loose episodes like this, we, uh-huh. we come to like the same conclusions. Like every that, time. That W's trying to fuck us? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> every time. I'm sick of it all, shit. It all comes back to W's trying to fuck us. Tenfold. Tenfold. <laughs> and with that, that's about that's about an episode. We talk nah, about No, but I want to talk some more shit, bro. All you right. got me all hyped up. All right. Let's talk some more Now, shit. World Cup. I know you're a big fan. Mm. And of any oh. World Cup from the past year. Oh, by the time this episode released. Um, France would be World Cup champion. You think so? I'm either going to look Croatia, dumb as fuck. Yo. What if Croatia upsets him? Bro, first of all, Croatia, like. Where the fuck did they come from? Bro, I. That's the best question. I only, I only saw about the, the first half of the, mm-hmm. the map. When I left, England was up. I was playing like they was going to be up. Yeah. So I left. I'm like, oh, all right. Looks like England's going to win. I come back. And I, I turn and <clears> I just see. Croatia celebrate and I'm like, what the fuck what happened? Is happening? It was crazy to watch, man. Like them niggas the two got goals licked. were just like sneaking as like bap, bap. You know wow. what I'm saying? Like, and, the, and like That's just stamina right there. That's yeah, all that, that's what that is. And as the time was running around running out and they're up two one and everything, everybody in England is just <laughs> covering their face and everything, like, oh you thought you gonna be a little crazy, did you? Didn't work. <laughs> Dang. But what I was gonna say is of all of the past ones, this one is like 
the most excited because I'm not a big soccer fan. Mm. Football, basketball, a little bit of baseball, but I'm not a big soccer fan at all. But mm. it kept me intrigued. Mm. It kept me intrigued. I think my favorite match was um, uh, was it Japan and Belgium? Japan and my Belgium, nigga. That, yeah. <laughs> that shit was crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like, it, it was a great World Cup, and I just want to say that you know it had me intrigued, and I'm not a big soccer fan. Mm. So. Word. That's you know, a, big up to advertising. Advertising work. Which brings me back to social media and the youth. No, no, I'm just kidding. Wait. <laughs> I remember it, it seemed like there was a, a, a deliberate effort to to make soccer like not desirable. Cause I remember like people every everything like even on TV, soccer is gay, soccer is boring. Like it, it was like Look, people were pushing that narrative. For real. Like the biggest thing was that soccer is boring and that's the last thing you wanna Watch as a kid, something right. boring. You right. know what I'm saying? You exactly. want to see somebody get hit, somebody right. fly over somebody, you know what I'm saying? But right. nah, soccer's a pretty lit sport. Mm. And, like, uh, shame on me a little bit because I'm Jamaican. Mm-hmm. And my dad's been watching soccer since I was a kid, you know, whether it's a World Cup or a friendly match or something. So right. I should have been known, but I was just, you know, stuck on the typical shit. Basketball, right. football, it, you know. It's just, it, it just uh, for people to get vested in, in it, um, down, like here, you know, and... MLS is a thing that's that's coming up. I want to see um, that you know push more. I want us to have, have a team. Beckham working on it. Um, that's yeah. a thing. Yeah. You and know. he's um. <laughs> you know, and um, yeah. So Beckham's working on a team for South Florida. Is it a Miami team? Yes, I threw your phone. That happened. So is it <laughs> okay? Understood. Um, yes, he is working on the team. He's doing like fundraisers and this and that. He's trying to make it a real thing. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna happen this yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I appreciate that because you know, as diverse as Miami is, like we should have been had a soccer, like a hey. major soccer team. Hey, like, there, there's soccer teams down here, but mm. you know they're basically adult optimists. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's not serious. Word. But yeah, yeah, like it's it's the melting pot. There's no other place like here. Like. Mm. Make it Miami's, a more global city. Miami's team is going to have one person from each Caribbean. <laughs> Watch, I'm telling you. Word. I'm telling you. Have to. But yeah. we, we talked some shit. Let's yeah. wrap it up. Wish we could have talked more shit. Word. Well, I mean, we, we could always talk talkers. more shit. But this has been Sir Black Side and Third, a.k.a. Flock Zulu, a.k.a. Pablo Escovich, a.k.a. No More, a.k.a. Stop the Violence. Brap, brap. The irony. Stop the Violence. The brap, brap. Mm-hmm. It is your boy, Mr. Dramatic, a.k.a. Wave Chappelle, a.k.a. Wavy McGrady, a.k.a. Black Galifianakis. And we signing off. And, um, you know, good luck to my homie. I've seen Black. Hope you get into the new Magic Mike 3. <laughs> More dicks, less chicks. Word. The, and, the, the, um, tree to be, uh, the key to be a good haystack is to be completely skilled. Still, bro. All right. Don't. Move. Move. All right. That's it. (laughs) But we will see y'all next week. Thanks for joining in.